Hello, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a bringing back the old school YouTube favorites. And these were definitely the kind of videos that I felt like I started watching before I even had my own YouTube channel. And they were like daily routines, current favorites, all of those kind of things. And I just think they're so fun, even though they're sit down chatty videos, because you can kind of pop them on in the background while you're doing some cleaning or getting ready for the day and that kind of thing. So let me know what you guys are doing while watching this in the comments down below. I did ask you the other day if you watch YouTube like on your phone or computer or TV because I was so curious like I've always watched it on my phone and I actually started watching on my TV the other day and it was mind-blowing. I'm like this is a totally different experience because I feel like I'm often just watching on the train or yeah just while I'm doing my makeup in the morning or something like that but I have a ton of favorites that I wanted to share with you guys. Some of these are brands that I've partnered with, so I will definitely let you know if there are any discount codes and things in the description box down below. But other things are just bits and pieces that I've bought myself and things that I've been buying on like a recurring basis because I've really found that they've helped me in one way or another. So I wanted to share those all with you guys today. And as always, I would love for you to give this video a big thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. I am this close to finally hitting the 10K, which would mean the absolute world to me. So fingers crossed we get there by my birthday. My birthday is the 14th of August. So if you're watching this before then and you haven't yet subscribed, please, please do. But let's get straight into it because I really want to share some of the things I've been really loving lately. The first two things I wanted to share are actually skincare related because I had mentioned previously that I was going on like a little bit of a journey kind of healing some breakouts and things I was having with my skin, which I don't know if any of you guys are around the same age as me. I'm like very early 30s and I've always had perfect, beautiful skin and just like the last two or three years, I started getting all these breakouts in my forehead area and it was almost to the point of feeling like it was acne or something, which is completely bizarre because none of that runs in my family and I've never had those kind of issues with my skin before. So I had to do a little bit of investigating. I also was in the process of doing some skin needling because I really wanted that to kind of help lift some pigmentation. So I've got a bunch of things to share, which are all items that I purchased myself and they have been really, really helping me. Actually, one is from a brand I collaborated with, but I'll let you know which one that is. So the first thing was just from Chemist Warehouse and it's called Benzac AC. This comes in three different strengths. I think it was like roughly $20. So obviously speak to like a dermatologist or something if you're not sure about putting this on your skin. But I was at my wit's end and I just wanted something that could potentially help get rid of like that congestion and everything on my face and... This product is life-changing. It literally has immediately cleared up my breakout within a week of using it. And it's very, um, it, I got the 5% one and it must be quite a gentle formula in the way that it goes on because it doesn't burn or sting or anything like that that would kind of freak me out by putting something like that on my skin. So that has been massively, massively helpful. And the other thing is I got a small dermal roller for doing at-home skin needling. And I've been really keeping up with that while also coupling it with the order ordinary um, hyaluronic acid and I do that once a week and I think that has really really been helping my skin with like lifting that pigmentation and also rejuvenating those kind of layers so it's made a huge change even my partner just said how nice my skin's been looking so I really wanted to share that with any of you who might be struggling or have someone in your life who's kind of struggling to just get on top of a weird skin concern because this has really just completely cleared it up for me. The other skincare item, which was a gifted item, just so you guys are aware, is the one called Banish, and it's a vitamin C cream. And these guys make some amazing kind of anti-acne products. And this one in particular, it literally feels like butter. It's almost like a body butter kind of texture. And it is just the most beautiful, hydrating vitamin C cream. And I've been using it morning and night. And that has really been helping with a bit of that residual pigmentation as well. So I feel like I'm kind of getting closer and closer to being able to feel comfortable enough having makeup free days and that's something really important to me because I definitely could just have a makeup free day I'm all for just being positive and accepting of who we are but I do just have a bit of an insecurity around that kind of pigmentation and scarring so that's just me personally that I like to sort of pop a light 
piece of like I don't know foundation or like even BB cream over the top of it but I would really love to get to that stage where I can just throw on some moisturizer and run out the door the next thing I wanted to share is a book recommendation because I had been powering through a book that I've been trying to chip away at for the longest time but obviously starting a new job working full-time and also doing this YouTube channel has just been really challenging so I felt like I was just really dragging my feet finishing this other book and my interest had kind of waned a little bit but now I've been reading the book called 101 essays and I just got my copy off Amazon so again with everything I mentioned I will leave all of the links down below in case you guys want to grab any of these things as well but I've really been enjoying this book it is not at all challenging to read in fact it's really interesting and to me it's kind of a bit of a page turner and I really do like the way that quite a lot of it is broken down into dot points because for my tired brain at the end of the day it is just so relaxing to read something like that and just kind of really process it in my own time so I've really really been enjoying that one and I would definitely recommend to anyone who's kind of interested in like the self-development space philosophy just thinking differently about things because that's the whole point of the book it's kind of to change the way you think and ultimately then change your life the next thing I've been loving is a brand I have worked with for the longest time and I'm absolutely in love with them. Their name is Butter Butter and it's a female owned activewear business and they just make the best activewear. But now that it's winter, they came out with a matching tracksuit called the Butter Butter Clubhouse set. And honestly, I'm going to put it on after this video. I thought I would just dress up a little bit for you guys, but I have been living in it. It is like fleece lined, comes in a couple of different colors. So I went for a classic kind of beigey, creamy sort of color because that's something that really fits with my aesthetic but they also have brown green and maybe black I can't remember but I wanted to just get something other than black because it's already kind of depressing enough with the seasons being so freezing cold that I thought I would just go for a little bit of a warm color instead I have to sit up straight as I say it because it is to do with exercise but it's reformer Pilates so if you guys haven't tried reformer before I would highly recommend it I have never felt better in my body since starting reformer so I just feel like it really builds like all of your core muscles really nicely tones your body and it also just gives you a lot of strength in areas like your arms without having to kind of lift heavy weights because it's kind of like complete resistance training and you're working against all of the springs so I just feel so strong and so stable throughout my body that it's really like assisting me essentially have like great posture throughout the day and also at work so I find that like previously when I was doing a hit gym and really smashing my body doing like hit classes and heavy weights and like a lot of boxing and like strength movements that my joints were feeling really sore. I was also feeling, I guess, a little bit bulkier than I am comfortable with in my body shape. And yeah, also I just felt like my system was really pushed, whereas this just feels really good overall. So I would highly recommend looking up some classes in your area. Like maybe you could even do a trial somewhere. And the best thing about classes is you have to get there. Otherwise you've wasted your money. So that also helps get me out of bed on the mornings where it's now winter and it's absolutely freezing cold and pitch black. And I just end up getting up and walking there because I'm like, you've already paid for this. All you have to do is turn up. The next thing I've been loving is my minimal home decor, which I'm now sitting in a beautiful new filming space thanks to putting up the frames in my little productive day in the life vlog that I did the other day. So if you want the details on all of these, it's over in that vlog. But basically I had just been going through my house and now I'm ready to do another apartment tour for you guys. So I will do that video really, really soon because I think it's the perfect example of how to say that I've really transformed a small apartment space into such a beautiful home. And I had really been looking at rentals, but the rental market as anyone who Who's looking would know is absolutely insane at the moment so I decided it was probably best if I just stay put but if I was gonna stay here I needed to make it much more functional and really work for me so I went ahead and changed all of the aesthetic to a beautiful minimal kind of decor and it's much more modern looking it's much more refined and it has a lot of restraint in the design as well which means it's very simple and really easy on the eyes so not only does my space feel cozy but it feels way less cluttered than it did previously which is very important to me when you're in a small space or just any home space that you're not feeling totally overwhelmed by your surroundings because it can have a really big impact on your mental state of mind as well. Winter food, one of my favorite things to talk about. You guys know from my grocery hauls and like what I eat in a days and things, I will talk about food all day long. But 
Something I've been absolutely loving making in winter is curries. So whether it's like a red curry or a green curry, I've been doing green curry with prawns and like a ton of vegetables just on a little bit of coconut rice. And that has just become such a nice warm staple meal for me. Cause not only is it healthy cause you're able to pack in so many vegetables and a little bit of protein. And if you're obviously eating that way as well, but if not, you could even just throw in tofu or something. And it is just the most delicious warming meal. And it is some leftovers that I will actually eat because I don't want to sound like weird, but I really don't like leftovers. It kind of gives me the ick and I'm never wasteful with my food. I will definitely try and eat the leftovers or I will give them to my boyfriend because he will just absolutely eat anything I make for him because he doesn't really like cooking. But I like, am I weird in saying that? Do you guys feel the same? I just can't, it's not the same the next day. I just want like the beautiful, yummy, fresh cooked food. But because me and my partner don't live together, I'm often cooking a bigger meal than I need. And then by default, there are leftovers, but I need to get over that because it is such a silly phobia to have, but I just really don't like them. Something else I'm absolutely in love with that I just bought off the Iconic, I think. I will make sure I link them down below and pop a picture here, but it's my new suede boots. So I had a pair of those suede knee high boots. And if you had any shoes like this, you would know how annoying they are because they sit above the knee and they just fall down the entire time while you're out, while you're walking, like probably while you're sitting, they are just useless shoes. So I ended up getting rid of mine because they were driving me crazy. And I'd even tried like sewing them tighter or putting elastic in the back and like you getting those ones that have the actual ties. But honestly, none of them work. So I've gone for below the knee suede boots this year. And I actually think that that style is where the direction is heading anyway. I think we're all over the over the knee boots and the new kind of aesthetic is the to the knee boots. So Tony Bianco are doing some really beautiful ones. There's also the, like I said, the suede ones I got off Iconic or real leather ones, depending on your aesthetic. But I absolutely love tall boots in winter because I really feel like they just add that extra layer of warmth when it's really cold outside. Now I couldn't do a current favorites video without giving my little own business a shout out. So if you saw my video that went up on Sunday night, it was about my slow living co planners. And in case you missed it, I have created my own daily planner and I'm very proud of it. I think it's so functional and so aesthetic and I'll pop a picture here so you guys can see, but they're only $15. And if you want to purchase one, I will leave my little Etsy store link in the description down below. Now being that it is freezing as well, I feel like I've been having a really cozy sort of vibe on my winter weekend days. I've literally got like a candle going. I have the heater going before and me and my partner have been getting into an old TV show called The Dome. I think it's on Stan. I don't know if any of you guys have watched this. It's based off like a Stephen King novel, but I am hooked. It's kind of started to get we're in season three now, so I don't want to give out any spoilers in case someone else is watching it too. But if you've watched it, please don't ruin it for me. But I'm season three, like halfway through, and it just started to get really sci-fi and a little bit weird. So I'm kind of slightly off it, but now I need to know the answer because I've been so committed to this show for the last few weeks. And that's what I'm into. What are you guys watching at the moment? Because I'm going to need something else to watch after we finish with this series. Another thing I'm really looking forward to doing now it is winter is going for a ski trip, but I don't think I'll commit to staying away for one this year, purely just due to like financial things. I've got something I'm updating you guys on in a couple of videos time. And you'll see why I haven't done any traveling this year because I've just outlaid a ton of money doing something that's like a massive life upgrade situation. So you'll find out about that very soon. But yes, in terms of ski day trips, it's Mount Buller for me is definitely the closest and easiest one to do in Melbourne. It's about a two and a half to three hour drive from where I am, like in the Southeast kind of area. And I'm so, so excited. I actually have my own gear. I've got a set of K2 skis and my own boots, which I bought a couple of years ago. Cause I've really got sick of having to like line up and hire things and return them and blah, blah, blah. Like getting some skis or a snowboard that wasn't quite what I wanted, but I cannot wait. I think I might even try and do like a midweek one where I just take a day off work instead, because if you go on the weekend, it is like pure mayhem and the lift lines are so, so long that you spend most of your day just lining up. So 
I really want to go, but I don't know who I'm going to go with. I'm going to have to convince someone to come with me because my partner doesn't ski or board. So he would come, but he'd probably just like sit in a beautiful cafe and like read a book or something for the day. Whereas I really, really want to be able to go out and ski around with someone. Another beautiful home item, which I have mentioned in some previous videos before is the silk pillowcases from Lily Silk. So I'll pop in a little bit about them here so you can see, but essentially they are 100% mulberry silk pillowcases and they're absolutely beautiful to sleep on. They're really great for all of their properties such as anti-acne, anti-aging and anti-frizz on your hair. And I've been sleeping on the Lily Silk pillowcases for around about a year now. This is my second set because I like to have two so I can alternate them when I'm washing them, but they are just incredible quality. They are so beautifully made and they come in a bunch of different colors as well. So if you're looking to upgrade your bedding to something extremely luxurious and really beautiful to, for your skin to sleep on, then I would highly recommend grabbing a set of the Lily Silk pillowcases. The last thing I wanted to mention is a new lipstick that I finally caved and bought, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. So I got both the liner and the lipstick because I really wanted to try the perfect combination of both. And I watched so many YouTube videos about it. I was watching people like swatching them and putting it on and like comparing their base lip color to like the final lip color. So I ended up just going with the regular Charlotte Tilbury um, pillow talk shade. I think it comes in three shades now, but I felt like the other two would be too dark for me because I naturally have like very red lips already. In fact, people are always asking me if I have lipstick on when I absolutely don't. I just have like a clear gloss on. So I think it's called like the vermilion or something in your lips that makes them that sort of really rosy red. And I guess I just got lucky having like very red lips. I heard that that's like quite desirable. But when I was younger, I actually used to dab foundation on my lips and make them less red because I was like really self-conscious about it because they're so bright. But anyway, random fact about me, but that has been my current favorites for this month. I hope you guys really enjoyed this little old school YouTube sit down kind of chat video. And yeah, let me know if you end up getting of the bit, any of the bits and pieces. Like I said, if any of them are like affiliate links or anything, I will put a little asterisk next to it and leave my discount codes down below. But otherwise, I hope this has been a nice cozy video for you to watch while it's so, so cold outside. I hope you guys are all keeping well and warm and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.